<clears throat> Howdy folks. Uh, it's a quick guy uh, throw together for overclocking DDR5 6000 2 by 32 gigabyte G skill kits. That's 64 gigabyte total to 7000. Uh, yeah, overclock 6000 to 7000 while keeping CAS latency to 30 and tightening some of the timings. Um, so here's a quick run through. Uh, these are my settings, um, you know, do as you will with some of this stuff, but I figured out some things to stop the throttling, EDP limit throttling and stuff like that, by doing these kind of settings, manually setting uh, some things here. But anyway, let's get to the quick settings. So XMP1, we go to, uh, we set it manually to DDR5-7000. These are my ratio limits that I've set here in BIOS, and I also use Intel XTU. Um, it, it never, it never stays at these limits, so don't don't think of that. The max I get is 59 on all cores, but it's stable, 59 all cores. Um, DRAM timing control. Let's see here. So here's your settings. As you can see, 30, 39, 39, 39, 86. Might be able to tighten that, but I, I don't. I don't think you can tighten much more than that. So just check it out. Let's look. Is that what you want to set? Pause when you need pause. Quick settings. I don't need to keep you guys here all day. We all got things to do. Just trying to help people out if I can. Now. Here's the kicker. Depends on your tolerance. All this stuff, and again, for God's sake, don't tell me. I don't give a shit. Okay? Don't, don't give a shit. Um, CPU voltage, too. DRAM VDD. Yeah, this one's going to scare some people. 1.57. Does it need it? Yeah, it does. Uh, VDDQ, 1.45. However, this is the, the VDDQ is the one you, you gotta really watch out for. Um, you know, from what I hear, uh, I'm not a pro. Uh, I just say it again, know enough to get myself in trouble. But this works. I got my SA set to auto, uh, it goes to 1.29 auto, but then again, I've got it set in XTU to 1.15, and it's stable. So I'm gonna be playing with that to see if I can get that down to just 1.15 and BIOS and lock it there. I'm not sure. Um, so, yeah, everybody, oh my god, you set your IVR and TX to 1.41. Does it need it? Yeah, it does. 1.39, 1.4, I start getting errors. I leave memory controller voltage to auto, but it defaults to 1.385. And in hardware monitor, it says about 1.37, um, which is an okay voltage for memory controller voltage. Um, you know, some people say the TX is a bit high because it's a direct to the CPU, but what the fuck ever. I don't know if half the people that talk this shit know what they're talking about because people just like to chuck in their two cents just to act like they know some shit. But none of them have ever tested. None of them have ever seen their CPU or their memory fry. Have you ever seen anybody fry their memory or the CPU? No, then shut the fuck up, okay? Like, seriously, this is not yellow. Like, I, I gotta think that the guys who made this motherboard, this is the Z790 Dark Hero, I gotta think that they know at least a little bit of something about, you know, what the voltages can handle. So, I think it's okay. And I've been running it, I don't know, for the past week. No problems. I've stress tested an Ada 777 Extreme for over an hour. No issues. Memory stays under 50C. Um, so... Advanced voltages, as you can see there, most of the stuff is just auto. Uh, all right, so we go back, and I think that was about it. So, yeah, I hope that helps you. It'll take your 2 by 32 gigabyte kits to you know, 7,000 from 6,000. So you can see my capacity is not bullshit, 65. So these are 24 gigabyte kits, these are 64 gigabyte kits, so you know, good luck keeping CAS latency and all that stuff without pumping some voltage to it. 
but I hope that helps somebody and uh, enjoy. Again, this is your tolerance, so up to you.